brought to you by Kroger. Fresh food, low prices. All right, we're back. We're in the kitchen this morning with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. As always, he is cooking up a storm this morning with a side that everyone will enjoy over the holidays. Green beans. Yes, green beans, a classic favorite, a very good meal, and uh, one that I think is definitely well worth the holidays. One of my favorites. I think it's my, one of my favorite vegetables besides... Spinach. Spinach, yeah. Well, and spinach. There we go. This okay. is going to be a little fancier than me kind of cracking open a can of green this beans. This is, yeah. So, you know, this okay. recipe, you could use a can of, you know, a pre cut can of mm -hmm. green beans, but I think the fresh green beans, mm -hmm. it looks a little nicer for the holidays. Yeah. yeah. It's a little extra work, maybe, but I think it's it's well worth the effort, especially when we get to try it. I think you're going to love it. And it's in a crock. Yeah, you know, we got one cooking there, but we're going to make one for you here uh, All right. uh, on TV this morning. So, uh, we're going to start, and I got about uh, one and a half to two pounds of green beans, and mm -hmm. I've trimmed them off on the ends. So, if there were ends that had uh, any stems left or things like that, mm -hmm. I just chopped those off. And, Therein uh, lies your little extra work. A little right bit, yeah. Then. Not yeah. bad, though. Uh, the ones at Kroger that I got, most of them were clean. I just had to do a couple ends there. I okay. uh, just kind of walk on through. And uh, so, I'm going to pour those in, and that's going to be the base of my. Crock pot meal there, okay. and uh, nicely covered. The crock pot's about two thirds full, so we got a little room to put some extra stuff in there. Okay, and uh, then we're going to add more. Next, I'm going to go with some potatoes here, and right. I've got a mix of red potatoes and, and purple, purple potatoes. potatoes. In fact, I'm going to do this here. I'm going to cut it open and show you the color. But purple potatoes are uh, from Peru, mm -hmm. and they actually are higher in antioxidants. They don't taste much different. Mm -hmm. Look at the color. And they're actually purple on the inside. Yeah, look at that color. Isn't that so pretty? Unlike red potatoes, which are white on the inside. Yeah, you're right. So uh, do they taste pretty much the same? They do taste the same, but the antioxidants. Are a little bit higher, and mm -hmm. they add just a nice color here. So as I cube these up here, all right, um, you see that they have that nice, nice color. And I'm just going to dump this bowl on. So I got about uh, 12, 18, maybe 24 potatoes. Just kind of right. eyeball and see. Right. And look at all those purple on top there. Looks and really pretty. They're cubed. Yeah, you're right. So I've right. uh, got that and uh, set that to the side. Next, um, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in here. I got a tablespoon, maybe a heaping tablespoon. I'm mm -hmm. just going to pour that on top. Can't ever go with too much garlic. It's one of my favorite I smell seasonings. Smell it. Yeah, you can. You really can. Mm -hmm. And uh, then finally. Uh, here, before we get to the meat, mm -hmm. I'm going to use some cocktail onions. These are um, actually made for, if you think martinis or things like that, that was mm -hmm. their original purpose, but um, they're they're pickled essentially. And so if you look for them in Kroger, you can find them. I don't know that I've ever seen these. Yeah, you can find them next to the pickles and okay. uh, where everything else is pickled there. Uh, why not? So they're, they're real small. Okay. Little. Onion. So can regular fresh onion work with this? Or you could, this yes. Now, you if you don't want to buy these, you can get a fresh onion, a yellow okay. onion, cut it up, but. Pickled okay. onions. Okay, who knew? Well, there you go. A little bit of a um, vinegar flavor to it, but still. Mm -hmm. They like don't you make uh, you cry. No, so you've opened and then I don't have watery eyes. They're so. done. Yeah, you, you don't. Yeah, so it's a All bit right. dry. Um, got a little bit of a pickled flavor to it, but works really well. It'll complement things just fine there. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do here uh, before we get to the seasonings. Mm hmm. Got a little ham. Now, the other day I made Hawaiian ham, and I've made that recipe a couple of times. It's about a half cup, just finely chopped up there. Mm -hmm. I even got a little juice in there. Oh, this is like leftover ham. Yeah, leftover to go. ham. Oh, okay. If you want to, you can use you know bacon bits or cubed ham or things like that. But I have mm -hmm. some leftover ham. That works. Use that and pop that right on in there. All right. Once we've done that, a little bit of salt and pepper for flavor. Okay. And just pour that. It's a lot on. of stuff in there, Jacob. A little bit, a little bit. We're going to finally top it off with some cans of um, chicken stock. Okay. And uh, or chicken broth. Okay. And I went with a low sodium because it's a little bit healthier. All right. So I'm just going to pour those in there, and that's going to add nice. A lot of nice juice in there and a lot of flavor. This is, you know, like many things that you make in your crock pot, it feels like a meal here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like right. This is a side item. In fact, item, this is probably a meal I'm going to have for lunch today later. Okay. Um, you know, nice and hearty and delicious. The flavors are all mixed together really well. And especially with that Hawaiian ham, mm -hmm. that's going to taste really sweet because that Hawaiian ham has brown sugar and it has honey in it. It's kind of like putting fat, fat meat in your green, sort of. Yeah, same you're right. idea. You're right. right. So, got that there. Got okay. all the things I need in there. And uh, I'm going to put that lid on okay. and turn it on low and slow for about six to eight hours. Okay. And once we've done that six to eight hours, then it'll be ready to go. And okay. We've got a meal that is ready got to serve ready over to here. Ready to go already. I'll let you pull that off. And uh, all right, we'll try not to make a mess here. Let's use these here, and I'll clear a little space for us. I'm going to use that plate. Just put a nice meal. It'll be my lunch there if you want. But it also goes great in the side for all those. Yeah, whatever you're cooking up for your Christmas dinner, this goes well with it. You know, some people, once they've done the turkey and dressing and all that for Thanksgiving, they don't want that for Christmas, but I think this goes with anything. It really does, and I'm going to just top that off with a little bit of sea salt in there. All right. You see the nice color and flavor, and uh, if you want to, go ahead and grab a fork and take a bite of it there. You want to take your green beans up a notch for the holiday season. We're going to put this, of course, the recipe on our Facebook page. I'm going to see if I can get one. There you go. Yeah, I'll grab one, too. Do you have a special name for these or just, just uh, holiday green beans? Just green beans. Yep. Green beans. So we got okay. that. 
And uh, the other thing too is while we've got Ooh, these green beans that are here, I also uh, have my top five favorite holiday recipes from what we've done the past year or so. So okay. there's a Hawaiian ham recipe is on there. My Italian broccoli beef. salad should have made the yeah, list. Yeah, it should have. <laughs> I mean, I have, I'll have to go back and edit that after the show here. We'll but, do uh, it. we got that on there. And we even got Mama Dickie's cheesecake because I think that's a good one. So. Perfect. All right, we'll be back to wrap up in a moment. Stay with us. All right, we got crock pot green beans. Is this our last cooking before Christmas? Or I think we're going to get one more in. One more in. Yeah, and oh. I'll be doing some Christmas morning cooking on uh, the morning show too. All so. right, sounds great. Thanks for joining us. Got to be here. Enjoy the rest of the day.